Hi, welcome to Yoga by You. My name is Alexa from Yoga by Alexa. Today I'm in this beautiful park in the college area of San Diego. I'm also wearing something that I feel comfortable in. Today, do your best to tune in, check in, notice what you're feeling, only do what feels comfortable in your body. If you ever feel any pain or discomfort, just don't do the pose, the stretch, or the strengthener that we're doing. You can take your favorite pose, you can do 10 push-ups if you'd like, or you can lie down and join when you feel a little bit more comfortable. We'll get started standing today. Have your feet a comfortable distance apart. Toes can face forward or slightly out, up to you what's most comfortable in your body. No fancy standing, just do what feels good. Big inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, sweep tall. Maybe look up if it feels good. And exhale, lower. A few more rounds on your own. Move with breath. If you feel like you need a little more reach in your life, you're welcome to hold your reach. Now, since we are reaching our arms up to the sky, that's what I want you to do. Like you're reaching for the top leaf on the very top of the tree. Your scapula will swing out and slightly up and you want that to happen. Don't keep your shoulders pressed down and don't hunch your shoulders up by your ears and strain yourself, just a natural reach. On your next inhale, reach your arms up, palms touch, and exhale, bring your thumbs to your heart center. You're welcome to close your eyes. Maybe set a goal, an intention, something you'd like to achieve or something you'd like to let go. If you'd rather go with the flow, let the practice take you where it does, you're always welcome to do so. Flutter your eyes open. Inhale, sweep your arms out and around and keep reaching up. Reach up through your right fingers and then reach up through your left. Up through your right and then up through your left. If you'd like, you can add on your heels. Bend into one knee and then the other as you reach up to the sky. Just get a little bit of movement in your body. Heels down, reach tall, squeeze your glutes, take your gaze up. Pull in through low belly, small back bend or no back bend. And big exhale, forward fold. Keep a little bend in your knees as you forward fold. You're welcome to keep a halfway lift or tuck your chin into your chest. If you'd like to keep a halfway lift and you have blocks, you're always welcome to use them. Pull your low belly in and stay strong. If you dangle heavy, I encourage you to keep the micro bend or the generous bend in your knees throughout all forward folds of the class. If it feels good, you can gently sway side to side. Maybe bend deeper into one knee versus the other and then switch. And come back to stillness, come back to center. Strong through your belly, take your hands to your hips. Long spine, inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, palms fold open next to your hips. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, bend into your knees, palms face up behind your hips, chair plane. Hug in through your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. Use your entire foot here. Your chest will come forward, that's perfectly fine. Your lower body is going back, so you have to counterbalance somewhere. It's okay if your chest comes forward. Palms face up, pull your thumbs together. Strong through your triceps, the backs of your arms. Big inhale, sweep tall. And exhale, chair plane. Inhale, sweep tall. And exhale, chair plane. Hold again here in your chair plane. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, reach tall, lift your right leg. Balance on one foot in your one-legged Tadasana mountain pose. If you need support, you're welcome to take your toes down to your mat or place your toes on a block. Slowly, with control, draw your hands to your heart center. As you tick-tock forward with your chest, send your right leg behind you. Move in for warrior three. Your warrior three may look like a big T-shape, or the toes may be hovering just off the ground. It doesn't matter how high your right foot goes, as long as you're strengthening through your standing leg and using your right glutes, your right hamstring, to help pull your right leg higher. Inhale, tick tock forward, fine one legged tadasan. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, grow tall. 
and exhale chair plane inhale grow tall exhale chair plane and hold you're here for a three two one inhale rise up left toes float one legged tadasana mountain pose remember you have the options to rest your toes on top of a block or on the mat for support strong through your belly palms draw to heart center as you feel ready tick tock forward with your chest as you press your left leg back find your version of warrior three can look however you'd like it to look with support a tiny float or a big lift just use your floating legs, glutes, and hamstrings. Stay strong through your standing leg. Inhale, tick tock, rise all the way up. And exhale, chair plane. Inhale, sweep tall. This time, squeeze your glutes, low belly hugs in, give yourself a little or a big back bend. And exhale, chair plane. Inhale, grow tall. Same little back bend option, this time to cactus the arms, open your chest. Inhale for length, exhale chair plane. Inhale, grow tall, exhale open. Inhale for length, exhale chair plane. Inhale, grow tall, exhale open. Inhale for length, exhale for chair plane. This time inhale, grow long as you exhale, forward fold any way you'd like. Inhale, halfway rise, length through your waist and exhale to lower hands to your hips long spine inhale rise all the way up and exhale palms fold open next to your hips take a step forward with your right foot and then a natural step back with your left we'll come into a lunge position so you're welcome to stay here in your high lunge if your hip flexors are feeling a little bit tight you're welcome to bring a gentle bend into your back knee use your lower body engage hug in arms reach tall if it's more comfortable, you're welcome to keep your hands at your heart center. Hold your lunge. To work on balance, you're welcome to close your eyes, see what happens in your body. Use the entire part of the right foot to help you press down. Rise up just a little bit. Let's move into warrior two. So you may need a wider stance. Your feet are welcome to stay hip distance even in warrior two. So I know that sounds a little funny, but it generally looks like one leg is towards one side of the mat, other leg is towards the other. Check in with how your knee or ankle are feeling. Sometimes warrior two, you'll have a slight turn in of your back toes. Other times, maybe a slight turn out. Just depends on how your body's shaped. Palms can stay at your heart center, or you can reach your hands on the horizon. Low belly hugs you in. Stay strong through your front leg. Press down firmly through both feet, then hug in through your inner thighs. Turn on your adductor muscles. If you'd like, you can gaze over your front fingertips. A few rounds of breath here. Check in, reevaluate, and then re engage, re hug in. Both arms reach tall. Gently send your upper body over to the right. Oh yeah, turn on your core. Now, instead of arcing over, like you're going over a big beach volleyball, I want you to stay strong and long through your upper body. Really feel your core turn on. Keep reaching through your palms. Let your shoulders reach as well. And find center, palms draw to your heart. Lengthen through your front knee and rearrange. We'll come into our goddess pose. So this time, toes turn slightly out, heels slightly in, and they should be about on the same plane. So heels line up with each other. Get low in both knees. Work on strength through our lower body as well as our bellies. You're welcome to gently sway side to side if that feels good. Or you can just hold in the center. Totally up to you. Now, if you are moving, go ahead and find stillness. Reach your arms up to the sky, look up if it feels good, and then move your arms into goal post. Inhale, reach tall, and exhale, goal post. One more round, inhale, reach tall, palms touch, exhale, thumbs to heart, lift up. Let's do the other side. Warrior two on the other side. So rearrange if you need to, take a warrior two that feels good in your body. For me, that means having my legs hip width apart, and my toes kind of face 
a little bit slightly out with my back toes and a little bit slightly in with my front toes. I just do what feels good with my knees. You can keep your hands at your heart center or reach them on the horizon. When you're ready, hug in, turn on through your lower body. You're welcome to stay or take your gaze over your left fingertips. Find a strong stance, a strong gaze, and recheck in, retune, re-engage. Find the hug in, find the strength. Arms reach. Back out of the pose. Heel toe your feet in a little bit for support, then move into your high lunge with your left foot forward and your right foot back. You can stay up in your high lunge position, or you can bend into your back knee, especially if your hip flexors are feeling a little bit tight. Engage through your lower body. Use the entire part of your front foot. Your arms can reach tall, or you can keep your hands at your heart center. Find gentle breath. Find your strength. And lift out of your lunge, swivel back into your goddess pose. So rearrange as you need to, heels on the same plane, heels slightly and toes slightly out. Palms draw to your heart space as you bend into both knees. Find your strength. This time, inhale, lengthen through legs. Reach your arms tall, five-pointed star. Exhale, return, goddess pose. Inhale, burst open, five-pointed star. And exhale, goddess pose. Continue to move at your own pace. You're welcome to move breath to movement, or if you need more time in one pose versus another, feel free to either hold your goddess pose or your five-pointed star. So even here, we're reaching out diagonal. Let yourself reach. Rearrange your toes, your ankles as needed to face in a direction where your knees especially are comfortable. In goddess pose, 99% of us don't have the skeletal shape for our knees to point directly out. So what'll happen is they'll point slightly forward off on a diagonal. Totally normal. Burst open, five-pointed star. And draw your hands to your heart, turn your toes in. From here, big inhale, lift your chest. Strong through your belly, engage your hamstrings. Exhale, slow fold forward. You're welcome to hold in your halfway rise. If you have blocks, blocks can come underneath your palms. If you'd like to continue and fold all the way down, you are more than welcome to do so. If it feels good to bend into one knee and then the other, take a bend. If you'd rather hold in stillness, really work on opening up through the backs of your legs, you're welcome to do so as well. Just like I said in the beginning of the class, I encourage you to keep a bend in your knees in all forward folds that we come into. From here, walk your hands over to the right. Turn your right toes to face the opposite end of your mat. Lift your left heel up. Lower your left knee to the ground. If your ground is a hard surface, you're welcome to roll up the mat next to you. Place it underneath your knee for support. If you have a knee pad, you're welcome to place the knee pad right underneath where your body touches the ground. If you have a blanket, it can be used underneath your limb as well. Big inhale, rise up. And exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Squeeze through your left glute. Hold here. You're welcome to take any extra movement, maybe a gentle bob in and out, stretch for your hip flexors, but be gentle here. Keep the engagement through your left glute. And slowly come back to stillness. Lower both palms down to your mat. Gently raise up your left knee, take a step back with your right foot, and then lower both knees down to the ground. From here, palms come to the mat. Low belly is strong, shoulders are about a centimeter behind your wrists, and your palms should be shoulder width apart. What that means is your palms should be lined up with the outer seams of your shoulders. Your fingertips don't have to face forward, especially if that doesn't feel good in your wrists, but they can face slightly out. This is your tabletop pose. Extend through your right heel, lift it up, send it back behind you, engage through your right glutes, your right hamstrings. Just hold here. If you'd like to add on heat, you're welcome to take your left palm and lift it forward. 
Slowly lower left palm and gently lower right knee. Other side. Left leg, left heel extends out long, raises tall. Stay strong through your low belly, strong through your left leg. Stay here or add on, reach your right arm forward. And lower right palm and lower left knee. From here, tuck your toes under, lift both knees, step your left foot forward, lower your right knee. Now when I say step, you can also walk your left foot forward, that's available as well. Strong through your legs, inhale, rise up, palms touch, exhale, thumbs to your heart space. Remember, engage through your right glutes, hold here. You're welcome to bob up and out of the pose if you'd like. Be gentle though, be careful. There is a lot of tendons right where your femur meets your pelvis, right at your hip. So when you squeeze your right glute, you're able to offer a little bit of release for the muscles on the front side of the body as you engage through the back. And also this helps you not to go as deep into the pose as you could if you don't squeeze your glute, which helps to protect the tendons. And if you're moving, come to stillness. Gently release both palms down to your mat. Raise your right knee up. Step back with your left foot. Both knees come to the earth. Inhale, lower your belly. Lift your chest, lift your tail. And exhale, curl in, round through your back body. Inhale, belly comes low. Chest and tail reach tall. And exhale, curl in. Keep moving at your own pace. You're welcome once again to move breath to movement or you can hold in one pose or another if your body needs a little more love in one area on your next inhale come back into center lift both knees up and step or walk one foot towards the other meet in your forward fold once again with a generous bend in both knees Hands to your hips, inhale, long spine rise all the way up. Exhale, palms come to your heart center. From here, again, just find a comfortable natural stance. Inhale, reach your arms out and around, fingertips tap overhead. Exhale, weave your right arm underneath your left. Start by giving yourself a hug. If you'd like, you can continue. Give yourself a half bind or a full bind with your arms. If your collarbones start to feel constricted, just come back. Bend into your into both knees, sink your hips. Lift your right leg up, cross it over your left. You can use your toes as a kickstand, you can float them, or bind them completely around your calf. I'll stay here today. Hug in through your low belly, squeeze your inner thighs together. This is Garandasan Eagle Pose. Big inhale, unravel, unwind. And exhale, left arm underneath right, hug half or full bind your palms. When you're ready, bend into both knees, sink your hips, lift up your left leg, cross over your right, kickstand, float, or bind your toes. Up to you for your version of Garandasana Eagle Pose. When you're ready, engage, hug in, even through your upper back, your shoulder area, engage there. Almost like you're flexing. <laughs> Big inhale, unravel, unwind. And exhale, palms come to your heart space. Gently press down through your left foot. And lift your right heel forward, then send your right knee off to the right. Slowly, start to move your right foot along the inner part of your left leg, skipping your knee. Gently find your tree pose. Again, you know what I'm going to say. Engage through your lower body and your belly. If you'd like to close your eyes, add an added balance challenge. An added balance challenge, you're welcome to do so. Maybe you'd like to grow your branches, or maybe you'd like to reach, bind, or stretch. Take the variation that feels good in your body. And slowly release. Take a breath or two as you recenter, get comfortable, ground down through both feet, then draw your palms back to your heart space. Press down through your right foot and take your left foot somewhere along the inner part of your right leg as long as you skip the knee. Press in, hug in, engage. Find your version of tree pose when you're ready. You can move your branches if you'd like or you can close your eyes. Take the pose that feels good in your body.
and slowly release. From here, inhale, palms up, lift your right leg up. Exhale, palms to heart, bend into your left knee, cross your right ankle over your left knee for standing figure four or standing pigeon pose. You can stay here if you'd like. You're welcome to press down with your right hand on the inner part of your right thigh. You can even bend your knee further if you'd like to really get that external rotation in the hip area. Big inhale, burst open one legged tadasana and exhale, palms to heart, right foot down. Inhale, reach up, left foot floats. Exhale, bend into right knee, cross left ankle over right knee. Standing figure four, a standing pigeon pose. You're welcome to stay. You may be up here, totally fine. If you need a little extra, just press left palm on the inner part of your left thigh. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, lower back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms tall. Squeeze your glutes, small back bend. Exhale, gentle bend in your knees, forward fold. Again, you're welcome to move around if you'd like. Get some movement in your body. Take your hands to your hips. Long spine, inhale, rise all the way up, and exhale to stay. Step forward with your right foot, back with your left, bend into your back knee, reach your arms up, big inhale. Exhale, open, rearrange goddess pose. Inhale, reach five-pointed star. Exhale, lunge, bend into your back knee. Inhale, reach tall, and exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, burst open, exhale, hands to your hips, heel toe your feet in together. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, right arm underneath left. Give yourself a hug, half or full bind. Bend into both knees. Lift your right leg up, cross over your left. Inhale, peel, sweep up. And exhale, left arm underneath right. Bend into both knees. Lift your left leg, cross over your right. Inhale, burst open. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, reach tall, squeeze your glutes, small back bend, and exhale, forward fold any way you'd like. From your forward fold, we'll gently make our way down to the mat. You're welcome to do so by bending into your knees a lot, or you can come off to the side of your mat and lower yourself down. Find a comfortable seated position, whatever that looks like to you. As you feel ready, begin to lower down onto your mat. If you have blocks with you, I encourage you to grab them and use them. They'll be handy in the next part of our class. If you don't have them, not a big deal. You can always take a towel and take the towel underneath your knees instead. So from here, walk your feet into your body. Bring your toes to touch, and then let your knees fall off to the side. You can stay here. If you would like to use blocks, wedge them underneath your thighs. If you have blankets or towels, you can wedge them up under here as well. Palms can stay resting on your hips or legs, your belly. They can be open next to you, whatever you'd like. Gently close your eyes. Hold here in Savasana, your final resting pose. If you'd rather hold this version of Savasana for a few breaths and then extend into traditional Savasana, that's available as well. Spend as much time as you need here. Be gentle, quiet, and slow. 